So I'm here in mountaintops. My mate here is pulling down these old stables and there's some uh, hornets back there. And um, what I'm gonna try to do is hunt them. And what I have here is basically some bamboo I cut, cut a little bit of uh, wire. I'm gonna attach this wire to the end like a fishing pole. I'm gonna put some chicken on the end. I'm gonna see how we get some hornets to eat, the, eat it. And then I'm gonna follow it to its nest. Th that's the theory. In practice, it's a lot harder. See, he's eating it. You know, I think it is all Susan Man now that I'm up close with it. So I'm walking with him to the road because I have a clear sky. He's feeding on my stick. So. Yeah really fixated on eating that meat and see I want to see which way he flies this open sky here careful, careful. So he is. I'm gonna take it to this clearing over here It's clearing here, and I can see which way he flies. So the idea here, I'm in this clearing, and I'm gonna see which way it flies. I'm gonna basically, he should come back here and get more. So he knows there's more food here. So what he's gonna do is basically come back to this spot and get more chicken. Now, each time he comes back to the spot, I'm gonna to move towards the direction that he came in, just like I did. I just moved 100 yards. So I've got clear sky here, I've got no trees, and I get an idea which way he's gonna fly. You can see him. Stinger can kill me.
see he's making a ball. He's got it. He's got it. Where's he going to fly to? He's going to fly to the hive now. He's getting his orientation. He's flying. He's in that tree right there. He's in that tree. I can watch him right there in the tree. Where's he gonna go with it? He's kind of struggling with it. It's a big piece of meat. Now, he knows he got his orientation, so he knows the meat's here, so you should come back here. I'm patient. So it took off, it went that way, so now I'm just waiting for it to come back, and it should come back. There's more food on here. That's more of the chicken. It really takes two people. I'm trying to do this on my own. And really, I need Tommy out here chasing it down. That's a dragonfly just flew over. So I've been tracking here and I'm deep inside the forest here. And here's an old mushroom uh, patch here. This here is a mushroom, so growing mushrooms on these old logs. So she got some bob wire and stuff. Looks like it's abandoned. I don't see any mushrooms on it either. Tracking them down this hill somewhere up in the mountains here following this old path. So, yeah, back at the stable. Here's another one eating. All right, we're gonna fly. I got my runner here. You're gonna chase after him, Tommy. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna fly. Wait, wait, let him go around the circle. He's getting his orientation. He uses that to get his navigation. He's trying to figure out where his home is. He's gonna fly around. He's gonna fly towards his home. He's going, to take the, he's going to take that to his home. Where is it going to be? Get ready to run. Get ready to run. He's getting his orientation. All right, he's still flying around. He's like, where's my home? He's flying around. Okay, he's going that way. He's going that way. That's his home. Chase it, Tommy. Wait, wait. He's coming back. Here he is. Here he is. He's coming back up here. Here he is. Just follow him. Is this home in the power line? Keep an eye up there, Tommy. Watch up there. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's flying straight. Chase him, chase him, Tommy. Chase him, you go that way. Watch out for the car. He went that way, didn't he? So what we need to do, Tommy, meet me down there by the other one. He went straight that way. Tommy can see him. I can't see him. Where? There. He's flying. Above the tree? In the tree? In the tree. So we're thinking he could be up there. Let's uh, walk up this path a little bit and check out that hive. Let's see, there's a beehive right there. You see the beehive up there? It's up here. But it's definitely in this area. So here's a really simple Japanese hive. It's got a front board here. It's loose. He, um, it's loose on the bottom, interesting. And he put little wedges in here to uh, get it just the right space for the bees to get in and out, but not enough. It's very clever how he has that, how he's has that on a, on a, on a piv pivotal. I like that. He's got more in here. I'll try to break the branch. 
so I can go. Can't find a dead stick. Oh, look, there's a well. Wow. There's like a well down here. Tommy is over at the meat. Is he eating? No? Yes? Okay. Another hive without bees. So she's back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've tracked her. She's up there over there. Tommy's about to spot the hornets. Yeah. So I'm uh, moving closer to where Tommy was. Still eating. I really want to come down here. Tommy, are you? Oh, she's flown. She's flown. She's flying. She's getting orientation, Tommy. She's flying. Here she go. Shoot. There she is, there she is, there she is. There she is. We tracked it, went over those trees. So we started over there and we found it covered a thousand meters. And we're getting there. It's been a long hunt. We're running out of light. But that's how hornet.